Hi Aquarius, Narai here are going to do a reading for you guys. I hope you are well. If you're new to my channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. My name is Narai and I go by Nay. Let's cleanse that energy. Cleanse that energy with me. This reading is going to be for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North and South node. Know to take what fits and leave the rest, sending positive vibes your way. I hope you guys are amazing. Spirit. What messages do we have for Aquarius? And we are pulling a card to tell me how many cards to pull for your reading. Not that one, I need a number card, please. Ooh, you know what? I was gonna say the top or the bottom. Guess what? They're both eight. <laughs> so look, yeah, they're both eight. So eight cards for your reading. Thank you. Messages and guidance for Aquarius, please and thank you. Eight card spread. Eight card spread. Eight card spread. First is the Ace of Swords. Then the Emperor. Wow. Pretty powerful. Ooh, and then the King of Pentacles. I'm gonna get, mm. All right. <gasps> is that the Ten of Pentacles? Nope, it's the Death. Two more cards, Spirit. Mm. Ooh, and at the bottom of the deck. Ace of Cups. This is a new emotional beginning, whether it is self-love or something that brings you some sort of emotional fulfillment or a new relationship, whether it be a friendship or romance. So here's what I have. Aquarius, I have the first card is the Ace of Swords. This is you having a, an epiphany, a realization, some sort of clarity, some sort of mental clarity. This could be in regards to what it is that you want and desire. But this is you like really thinking about what's happened for some of you about what's happened to you and what you want and what steps you have, to, the steps you have to take to accomplish something. Um, I have the emperor. Maybe some of you want to be a business owner. The emperor is a business owner. This is a person that has self-discipline. This is a person that's in charge. This is a boss. This is a boss. But this is a person that is very structured and does things with strategy. He's got a chess piece, for God's sake. He's got a chess piece in his hand. This can, this can be a family man. And then the next card I have is the King of Pentacles. This, okay, this is stability. This is stability. I feel like you guys are working on your stability. It's like you're thinking of all the steps. You want to be an emperor, but right now you're a king. You're thinking of all the steps to get here when you're here. The king of pentacles is somebody that is grounded, somebody that has stability, somebody that has and can provide security, somebody that can provide protection, all the things that an emperor can do, but the emperor can do a lot more. And this is in regards to the things that will make you happy. This is in regards to what you need to do in order to be success. The, the, the sun card is about success and happiness and that warm, fuzzy feeling inside. That's what that is. This is about the things that really bring you joy and happiness. It's like an idea that you have it just makes you warm all over.
And this could be something that you're doing and you're thinking of after having a situation that, that had you in regret. Like you, you maybe chose wrong in something or someone and then it put you through a rebirth because it may have been something that was really hard to deal with. But the death card is 13 and one and three is four. And in tarot, the number four is stability. This has to do with your stability. I feel like you guys are getting your confidence back. You're getting your confidence back with the Queen of Wands energy. This is somebody that is very independent okay being like by their self not meaning single um but it's it, you're like the lone ranger aquarius okay the lone ranger this is somebody very independent i think sometimes your independence makes other people uncomfortable you know what i mean but this is somebody who is a social butterfly at times um, people are kind of drawn to you you guys are very confident and that's what attracts people to you and for some of you you may not actually be very confident but pe you you come off as though you are and that draws people to you excuse my throat my throat my body's making really strange noises right now <laughs> TMI. But I feel like for some of you, you may be on this journey of discovering yourself and what it is that you want, like your true desires in regards to life because you are getting older. Why is this coming out? Oh. It's like you guys... <laughs> I, I don't know why I just thought the life of the party. I feel like some of you may have been the life of the party at one time and now you're a little more reserved. And it's kind of like there are certain things that you want to do. There are certain things that you want to do. There are certain ideas that you have. And you know that you're going to make things happen. But what's so funny is what's going to happen is somebody's going to try to romance you. So there may be romance coming. And somebody may come. This could be something small. That, this could be something that starts off small that can turn into something big. Because the last card was the Ace of Cups. But this is the Knight of Cups. And so you could have somebody coming into your energy, male or female, that may not be right where you are, but they want to be. They want to be in your energy. And the reason I say that is because I pull these two cards and then I have the Queen of Pen Pentacles, or excuse me, Queen of Wands, and then the Knight of Cups is right under her. First of all, the Knight is right before the queen in tarot because he's like right beneath her. Not saying anybody's beneath anybody, but it's like on your journey of who you are becoming and where you want to be, you're a little further along your process, your process than this other person is. But I am sensing somebody that's coming into your energy that is going to make a romantic gesture and that wants a relationship. Mm, 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 mm. I'm leaving it there. I'm leaving it there. I am leaving it there. So that's what I have for you, Aquarius. I don't know what you're going to do with this information. But thank you for watching, sharing, and subscribing. I love y'all. Bye.